Today we're talking about Victor's 82 volt lined trimmer, whipper snipper, weed whacker, whatever you want to call it. It's a Victor and it's 82 volt. So this is battery powered, so obviously there's no cords, no fuel, no mixing fuel, no servicing to do with petrol engines. What do I think about it? Well, first of all, let's see how it runs. So I wanted to take it through some general situations as well as some more uh, thicker, more tougher situations. And as you can see, it dealt with both quite well. As for the power, it's not the most powerful trimmer that I've used. Obviously, um, some of my petrol ones are a lot more powerful. However, um, as for the ease of use, um, it obviously gets a big thumbs up due to the um, lack of maintenance involved in having this trimmer as well as that the noise, it's not as loud as um, some of the petrol ones obviously, so that's a big thumbs up as well. As for the price, it'll set you back a few hundred dollars, so that's something to keep in mind, particularly when the batteries are about a couple hundred each. So if you're wanting to get multiple batteries, that's a bit of a, a drawback because they are quite expensive. So that's something to consider as for the price. Being electric, you would think it's slightly more lighter than um, a petrol trimmer, however, this trimmer would be more heavier than my uh, Shindewa 22T. It is quite a heavy unit. Additionally, with the battery, it's very motor heavy, meaning you're going to have a lot of weight on one of your arms. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So if, if you're in for a lighter trimmer, I would probably recommend something else as this isn't the lightest of trimmers. How is the range of different options with the use of this battery? Well, you can get blowers, you can get uh, hedge trimmers, lawn mowers. It's got a whole range of equipment that suits this one battery. So that's good if you're wanting to use a various number of Victor tools on your lawn to keep it nice and maintained because you can just swap the batteries out as you go. The grip is made out of a hard rubber material which will mean that it should last a while. I have had this unit for a couple of months. Nothing's broken on it so far, so it does seem a pretty sturdy unit. To me, it seems like a unit that will be reliable for the foreseeable future. Battery life, I found it gets the lawn done quite easily. Whack the battery into my blower and blow the lawn as well. So you shouldn't have any, too many issues with battery life unless you're doing some really big lawns. But you can always get another battery for extra battery life. Some of the drawbacks. So initially it was a little bit confusing with the bump head, but it is similar to the speed feed heads where you twist them to feed them. Um, initially I was a little bit confused 
as to how it worked. Um, probably one of the more complicated ones to figure out compared to some of the other bump heads out there. However, when I got the idea of what you're meant to do, um, it is relatively straightforward. My advice would be to feed through the line, through the spool, just before you start twisting. That way you can make sure you get it through the eyelet. The speed feed head is a lot more simpler to feed through the eyelet compared to this unit. However, once you do get the hang of it, it is easy to use. Who would I recommend this unit to? Well, if you're a commercial guy looking to mow a lot of lawns, this might not be something for you as the power to the bump head isn't as high as some of the petrol units. Um, petrol units I find are a little bit more effective and efficient. However, if, if you're mowing just uh, typical lawns that just need regular maintenance, this could be a winner for you, particularly for a homeowner or something like that. Um, as it does gets the job done and there's no mixing of fuels or anything like that It's simply a plug-and-play option, which makes it super convenient. I got this unit for $199 Australian. This didn't include the battery or charger However, I had a blower from the Victor 82 volt range, which I'll be doing a review later on But if you get one with a battery and a charger, it could be a little bit more expensive setting you back a few hundred dollars So keep that in mind. So all in all good trimmer pros and cons to it. If you're in the market for a battery powered trimmer, something that's easy to use, it is a little bit more on the heavier side. If you're into that, then this might be a winner for you. Hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, leave us a like and as always, subscribe to the channel for more videos all about lawn care. My name is Hayden and I shall catch you in the next one.